Well, welcome back, YouTube friends. It's a little cool here in Northeast Ohio this morning. This is about par for the course for January in Northeast Ohio. Got a couple new additions to the farm here. These two were uh, born to separate mothers on the same day. So, we're feeling blessed. I've had uh, a few people inquire about an update on Toothless. Toothless is what we call our 95 F250 4x4. Son named it Toothless. I guess he thinks it looks like Toothless the Dragon from How to Train a Dragon. And, um, Son's been driving that for a while, uh, up until a couple of months ago. It's probably back in the fall or late summer. Um, he was using that as his daily driver. It's probably well timed that we parked it anyway, with the price of diesel being as high as it is right now. But um, folks have wondered what's going on with Toothless. How are things going? And unfortunately, it's not good news. Um, park this truck because uh, it's making some very not good noises. Um, I will show you here in a minute what this thing sounds like. Um, basically it developed a, a real loud rattle uh, anytime that there is not pressure on the transmission. Um, it's about twice as loud as it should be. And we did a few things to try and isolate where this noise is coming from. Um, I actually took the accessory belt off of it altogether to try and eliminate for the fact that it might be one of the accessories that was making a lot of noise. Um, no change there. So, unfortunately, the ugly sounds that this thing is making must be either coming from the engine or the transmission. I'm hopeful that it might be a cracked flex plate, but I don't think it is. I um, pulled the inspection cover already and I've kind of latched my peepers on to what's going on in there and I don't see an issue with the flex plate. My best guess is that we have a broken disc in the torque converter. That's my best guess. But um, other things being what they are, there's a lot of other things we're into and a lot of other needs for our time. So I haven't um, haven't done much to, to work on it here recently. But today is the day. Uh, the goal for today is to um, get this thing up to the garage. We'll get it in the garage and I want to unbolt the transmission either drop the trans completely or at least slide it back far enough that it's not engaging um, not engaging the engine. That'll get us in there so we can take a closer look at the flex plate and if I can I want to try and run this thing with the transmission disconnected to try and isolate whether we've got a severe engine issue or if it is simply in the trans. Um, the lovely E4OD being what it is, that's where I suspect we've got an issue, um, but it doesn't sound good. Um, the sound goes away if I put it in gear, place a little bit of load on the, the torque converter, or if we drive it a little bit as long as you're accelerating, as long as you've got a little bit of tension on the transmission, it sounds okay. Um, so I tend to think it's probably in the trans. But this is the next step in kind of helping to diagnose that so I know whether I need to be looking for a transmission. So unfortunately, uh, these last couple months, Toothless has just kind of been a firewood rack. <laughs> um, I'll go ahead and start it up here. I'm hopeful that you'll be able to hear what I'm talking about on the video. Um, it's a little chilly here, so we'll let the glow plugs glow for a little while. 
again on these trucks you don't need to cycle the key to let the glow plugs run even if the light goes out those glow plugs are active and that is proven by the fact that you can see where the voltmeter is it's ticked way down low there what is that probably about 10 and a half or 11 volts while it's running so uh, you just let them run for a little while and then should be able to start it up. I'm pretty sure you can hear what I'm talking about. It does not sound good. However, if I put it in gear, that noise goes away. That's neutral. Reverse, quiets down again. Back to neutral, it's noisy and nasty again drive it gets quiet so I think we've got transmission issues I'm gonna get uh, see if we can clear up the windshield enough that I can see maybe Just do this Ace Ventura style. Again, I'm not going far. I'm just going up to the garage. So, Let's see if we can get her up there. Sounds fine as long as there's a little load on the trans. As soon as you let it off, put it in park or neutral. Or when you're driving, if you're coasting down to a stop, it just sounds pretty ugly. So, I'm going to pull the trans back, see what we got going on in there, I guess. Try not to hit my daughter's car. You can probably hear that now. It's starting to rattle. Doesn't sound good. Again, that's neutral. Reverse, it goes away. It just doesn't sound very good. So once again, uh, today the task at hand is to get that transmission pulled back, if not out completely. And um, we'll see what in the world we got going on in there. So that's what I'm going to do here for the next couple hours. It's a little chilly out here, but I'm bundled up and layered up. And I'm going to try and spend a few hours with this old girl today and see what we can come up with. It's a good truck. I hate to lose the use of it. Especially because I really don't like driving my other truck in the wintertime. All the salt and things being what they are. It's a pretty clean F-350 crew cab, so I like to keep it out of that garbage if I can. I've made a video before on uh, how to pull the transmission out of these, uh, the E4OD. Um, it's not a hard job, it just takes a little bit of time. Um, on these I tend to pull the transfer case separately uh, they're just pretty heavy gets a little unwieldy if you pull them together so i'll probably drop the drive shafts pull the transfer case then unbolt the trans and uh, pull it out we'll see what we come up with so figured i'd bring you in here with a little bit of an update um, i'm going to get some wrenches out and we'll get to get to work on this thing and we'll see what we come into thanks for watching <laughs>